Hi guys, I know a lot of you are interested in how fast the Galaxy S7 on my right is than the Galaxy S6 and also how hot does the Qualcomm 820 run versus the Exynos 7420. So I've got a meter here. I've cooled both phones um, down. I just let them rest. They're both at about 74 degrees as you can see. All right, 73 point whatever. All right, they're both at about the same temperature. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run N2 to benchmark for both. All right, and we'll measure the temperature after the test. And let me go ahead and hit allow here. Also, you can go ahead and follow along if you have a phone and you wanna compare the results in real time. Let me go ahead and start, oops. Allow, there we go. That one kind of got a jump start there. All right. Let me go ahead and turn the sound down. Sorry, I may get tagged for copyright every time there's this background song, so I turn it off. But right away, they're actually both running Android 6.0.1. Look at how smooth the 3D graphics run on the S7 versus the S6 is a little bit stuttery. Uh, the 7420 Exynos is actually a really good processor, but you can see how much better the Qualcomm 820 is. So let me actually go ahead and turn it so you can see it better this way. All right? Look at how smoother. Look at how much smoother uh, the Galaxy S7 is. All right. We will also do uh, Geekbench 3 after this, and both things are rendering. Let me go ahead and measure temperature uh, while it's going going here. Uh, the S7 in the middle of the phone is registering about 78, 77 degrees. All right, 77 degrees for Galaxy S6. Now my theory is that the Galaxy S6 may run cooler because the Exynos uh, in the past have been known to run a little bit cooler. This is an octa-core, but. Look at the differences on how smooth that is running um, versus that. So if you want to play the latest, latest games, also this supports Vulkan API, which means um, you'll be able to get those super high res games going. All right, I will probably have another video on uh, high res Vulkan API supported uh, games for the Galaxy S7 eventually. But we'll do a quick test here. And I'm gonna go ahead and aim at the middle. All right, I'm 79, 80 degrees Fahrenheit for the Galaxy S7. Uh, 81.3. 79, 81.3. All right, we'll also measure the back of the device when we're done. And you can see that the Galaxy S7, even though it started a few seconds late, it's catching up pretty quickly here. All right, very interesting. Um, you know, the coolest feature of the Galaxy S7, of course, is the performance of the Galaxy uh, S7's Qualcomm 820 versus the Exynos 7420. I mean, Exynos 7420 isn't bad, um, but definitely with the upgraded battery life of 3,000 milliamp hour, I mean, I haven't done the test yet. I'll have a SOT test coming up probably in the next few days, but it's gonna really outperform and also give you better battery life. I mean, better performance just means also better battery life because it doesn't require you to use that much uh, voltage or battery uh, usage to accomplish the same thing. So if you play the same games, this will drain the battery less. I mean, in theory, we'll have to test it out. Um, it is almost done. Now it's doing some CPU multi-threading. All right, let me go ahead and change this back this way so you can actually see it better. And I've cooled both phones down for 30 minutes before you guys do these tests. Um, don't do it right after you use the phone. Let the phones cool down. You saw that uh, both phones were at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, my room temperature is about 68 here. So try to cool it down to room temperature before you do these tests. And you can see right there, the Galaxy S7 um, caught up to the Galaxy S6. 
and really kind of uh, beating the Galaxy S6, even though it started three seconds late because I had to hit that allow button. And we are almost done here. And we'll look at the final numbers. I mean, I already know the Galaxy S6 will get around 80,000. Galaxy S7 should score around 130, 140,000. All right, they're both running Android 6.0.1. I've updated my Galaxy S6. Um, so it's a fair contest. Both use 1440p screen. Um, we are almost done here and we'll find out exactly how much faster are the Galaxy S6 versus the Galaxy S7. Also, we'll measure the temperature here in a bit. All right, uh, almost done. 90%. Now, if you're following along, you'll also notice how fast the Galaxy S7 runs compared to whatever phone you have. Um, yeah, we're almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and measure the temperature real quick while this is going. 80 degrees for Galaxy S6. 82.4 degrees for Galaxy S7. So my theory was correct. The Galaxy S7 does run a little bit hotter. Um, and you can see, wow, it the numbers were exactly right on. So 82,000 versus 132,000. That's almost performance improvement uh, of, let's say, how much is that? Uh, over 50%, like 60, roughly 60, 70%. 3D performance, you'll see 52,000 versus 21,000, and that's where we saw the graphics run a lot smoother uh, with the Galaxy S7. And also UX, a lot higher, CPU a lot higher, RAM just a little bit higher, so as far as RAM, um, there wasn't too much of a difference. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure these two phones, right in the middle of the phone, 81.4 for Galaxy S6. 83.3 .3 for Galaxy S7. Now I'm gonna measure the back of it. That's where the CPU lies. I believe CPU is somewhere, somewhat by the Samsung logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure by the Samsung logo. So Galaxy S6, 81.4. Galaxy S7, 84.2. So it does run a lot hotter with the Galaxy S7's Qualcomm 820. Um, it could also have some fact to do with how they designed uh, the internal cooling. All right, let's go ahead and close out of all of this. And we're gonna go ahead and run Geekbench. All right, let's go ahead and run Geekbench, except I've not run uh, Geekbench here. And let's do this run benchmark. And we'll see how fast uh, these things are. Let me go ahead and measure the temperature again while it's running. 81.1 versus uh, 83.1. So two degrees of uh, difference. Now, if I let them settle, uh, the you know it might have been more fair. But you can see the Galaxy S7 still beating the Galaxy S6. Pretty good. Uh, results are almost done. There we go. 2345 single core and 5398. For Galaxy S7. Very good numbers. The Galaxy S6 is still working on it. Uh, 1485. Single core, it made a huge difference. That's going to make a huge difference in most apps uh, because you're running single core. That's almost double the speed on the Galaxy S7. Multi core, the Galaxy S6 didn't do that bad um, since this is based on an octa core processor versus, I believe, this is quad core. Right, all the numbers there. And you got four gigs of memory versus three gigs. Right, some more numbers. Um, so, that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and measure uh, the back of the phone again to give you the final results. 82.3 for Galaxy S6. 84.1. 84.2 for Galaxy S7. So it does uh, run a tad hotter and we ran two benchmarks in a row. And this does feel a little bit warm. And also it could be due to the fact that uh, it's a narrower design and you got a bigger, bigger battery. I don't know this, um, but it's not a huge difference. So you shouldn't have problems 
um, the Qualcomm. I'll, I'll have further, more intensive testing with the Galaxy S7. See if we can break it down at higher temperatures. But one thing I noticed with Exynos 7420, even if it's you know super hot outside, it will keep performing. Now I don't know about the A20. Will it keep performing in heat? It should. Um, we'll find out. But anyway, that was a benchmark between the Galaxy S6, Galaxy S7, uh, how much faster it has gotten. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe. Have a great day, folks. And as always, I'll stay on Android.